Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nelly and I am so happy you are here. So today I have a BJ's haul. I just posted my Sam's haul. I shop from both places. Whoever has the better deals or coupons for the month, that's where I will pick up those items from. So as always, items and um, prices will be up on the screen. So let's get right into it. Wait, wait, we got a, a moment for my baby. Okay. Pizza crust, there is two in the package. So I, this would be like one dinner. These were a new item that we came across. So everything that can go in the air fryer is my jam. So for a quick lunch, we got some chicken breast fries, like spicy. Half and half. I got two of those. Okay, so now I am one of those people, like real extra, that when I see two things, I'm like, oh, I really want to buy both so I can like taste test and compare and see if, you know, there's a big difference. And I, I can't like buy this one this month and then buy this one next month because who's going to remember what this one tastes like? You know, you got to buy both and then make a batch of both the same day and then do like a full-blown you know taste test at the same time so that's why i picked these up i mean obviously i got a little feeling i'm not being biased or anything that these are gonna like be the winner but i'm going in with an open mind and we'll see so we got some soy sauce because i love me some asian food i'm always looking for recipes to try that call for this some salsa now this is a big container so when i open it i will you know put some in like a mason jar in the fridge and then i will portion some out in mason jars and put them in the freezer and then just take it out as we need it and it will be perfectly fine some craft parmesan cheese Olive Garden Italian dressing because this is bomb and you can use it obviously to you know put as a dressing on your salad or also for a marinade it's really really good some hot sauce Frank's hot sauce because my husband likes spicy food number one and number two it's football season and in my mind, y'all know if it's football season, you automatically think of like, you know, chicken, buffalo dip. So I'll be, you know, making a couple of those recipes with this as well. Now, y'all know these are a staple in my house. I pick them up every single time. BJ's has the best price for these, especially when the coupon is out like a phenomenal deal you can't beat it um anywhere and even cheaper than sam's y'all know these are my absolute favorite i will forever pick these up bj's has the best price with the coupon also these with the coupon and these are um, just to have in the freezer for a breakfast on days that we have to leave the house and I'm running late. A jug of extra virgin olive oil there. Uh, some children's dime tap cold and flu. Thank God my children are not sick and everybody's healthy right now, but I feel like you know cold and flu season is going to be coming up with the change of weather even though we don't get that much of a change in florida but hey if it's like 70 we're frozen you know so just to have on hand being proactive 
putting in my stockpile, stashing it away. So when I need, I have extra. Cinnamon rolls, there is four cans in here. So I obviously, these would, we make maybe like, I don't know, maybe once every two weeks, you know, something like that for like a dessert. So I have that and I do love to make the whole ones that are like super popular when you do with like the heavy whipping cream and the sh brown sugar and the butter and all that stuff. Really, really good. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Lemons. These also freeze very well. You can literally, you can juice it if you want and then freeze the juice or just throw the entire lemon in the freezer and then put it out on the counter, you know, a couple of hours or even the day before when you want to use it. And they thaw so, so, so nice. And you'll have some juicy, juicy lemons, like anytime you need. Eggos, self-explanatory. These I get for when we have uh, pasta night. I put some of these in usually in the air fryer but y'all let me tell you my air fryer broke and i said oh we still need some of this texas toast so on the box it says that you can also like literally put them right on the stove on like a pan and then just like you know a few minutes on each side and i actually like them better that way than than they were when i've been making them in the air fryer fruit snacks these i got two boxes of this was like a new thing we tried one time before and the kids liked it like if we have a day out you know we're out and about and we come home and they want to eat something before dinner's ready then this is something that they were able to pull out of the freezer and put them you know put in the microwave and make for themselves then i got i got these um one of each the potato cheddar tots and the cordon bleu bites also good in the air fryer this ones are my favorite some chopped onions lemon pepper seasoning my daughter is a lemon pepper lover wait hold up y'all this was from Sam's. Okay, never mind this. But either way, I did get this. And pure vanilla extract. Because that goes along with these two packs of butter. Because baking season is coming up. And y'all know I am a jack of all trades. And I think I'm a baker. And I can bake everything from scratch, the cookies, the cakes, all the things. I really can't. But YouTube tells me that I can. And they make everything look easy. So, I got two packs because I know I'm going to have a lot of mess ups. So, you know, just preparing so that when the holidays actually hit, I don't have to run out to the store and, you know, get into that madness. Uh, lime juice lemon juice cranberry juice here and then back here is uh the pack of apple juice a bag of extra large cooked shrimp string cheese turkey sausage And these are the same, but just the regular pork sausage for breakfast. Milk chocolate morsels. And then the bag of semi-sweet morsels. Again, baking season is coming up. And your girl is going to bake something from scratch. I'm going to do it because, because I'm going to do it. And these are little beef, um, the Smokies. I put these in the freezer because I don't use them right away. Here we have some snapper. I got two packs because this would be like one, one dinner. I would cut 
like I make them and then I cut it in half and then this would be like my husband, my son, my daughter, and then this would be an extra piece. I don't like eat seafood. So this would be an extra piece either for leftovers, for like my husband for lunch or whoever wants it. So this whole pack would just be one dinner. So I went ahead and picked up two. And then chicken wings because your girl is going to make some lemon pepper chicken wings at home. I don't know how yet, but YouTube told me I can. These were like on, on sale because, you know, summer's over. But in Florida, I feel kind of like summer's never really, you know, over because you can grill like year round, you know, in Florida. So I went ahead and took advantage and picked these up for you know any time i don't even have a grill y'all but i have goals so when i do i'll be ready pre-cut parchment paper 125 sheets you see that that's gonna be me right there on like uh what is that show baking championship something like that block of mozzarella cheese capri suns for on the go graham crackers because my kids forever ask for s'mores and i'm like y'all like who's who's starting a campfire to make us to make like two s'mores y'all better figure it out how to make it in the microwave or something so these little um cups of pineapples this is just a pantry item to have on hand like building up the the stockpile again as you guys know, I've said it plenty of times, I live in Florida, we're still in hurricane season. So these would be good for power outages, anything like that. Same for this box of applesauce, things that are shelf stable and have a long um, expiration date. So those two items would kind of just be in the pantry, sitting away for in a, an emergency these are for my daughter she's really like the only one that eats them and here we have again prep items i always think about tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and five years after tomorrow so i like to prep and i like to buy for now it's almost like one for now one for later i always want to make sure we have and so these are a very very good prep item to have on your shelf chicken breast in a can and the good old classic spam so these will also be put on the shelf and kind of just have their you know for emergencies and this big old bag of dinner yeast rolls okay guys so here i am with this other side that i have and y'all when i tell you that he's always at my feet I mean it. I can't even move. He is like right there. Okay. So I got these because there was a coupon on them. This is oat milk, which we enjoy. I'll put one in the fridge for now and one in the freezer and it will defrost perfectly fine when we need it. Now, this was also on sale. And like I said earlier with those, you know, comparing the chocolate chip cookies i got both we um drink both we drink both almond milk and oat milk but i feel like we've never done like a real full-blown like comparison one-to-one -to, -one to see which one we actually prefer if if it would be almond or oat milk so to put that question to rest i went ahead and picked up both so we can do a you know an actual comparison to see who votes for what so i know officially which one our family prefers but they will all get used up these will also go in the freezer perfectly fine y'all don't be afraid to use your freezer then a bag of waffle fries in the air fryer these will be good with like you know the chicken fries or any of the other items that i got from my sam's haul that you guys just seen 
you know, fries on the side, I feel like makes everything better. My husband's cereal, the Raisin Bran Crunch. I pick it up every time it's on sale because it's his jam. Some red peppers, green peppers. I got two bags of those. I feel like we use more green pepper. So I'll use like two green peppers to one red pepper. So this ratio here will be good. And again, cut them up, put them in the freezer. Anything that you find in the freezer section at the grocery store already prepped and made for you, you can do it yourself. So they, they forever sell, you know, stir fry. So guess what? Stir fry yourself and cut it up, wash it, put it in the freezer, and you did it yourself. These um, turkey breasts. Now, um, in my Sam's haul, I also picked up some turkey. Now, I got both because... The one that I got from Sam's is more for like actual, you know, turkey sandwiches to put together a whole, you know, chicken. I mean, like turkey, cheese, sandwich and everything. This one is more for like to cut up and put like in the breakfast burritos to ha I have with I can do some with this and I can do some with sausage and some with bacon. But it doesn't have like that strong flavor like the one that I showed you from Sam's has. So this one would be more used for that. Some apples. Green beans. Hawaiian rolls. Guys, listen. Listen. If you have not tried the what is it called the french toast hawaiian rolls like after you finish watching this video go look up a recipe and do it they are fantastic Mo everybody that i've seen used the whole entire roll and then cooked it like that but I thought that was a little thick for me, so I did slice them in half and then, you know, dip them with, with half of, of the roll. And I thought that was like a perfect portion, like bite, not too thick. And it got the flavor all around, but you do whatever your heart desires. We got these because it was like new and I just wanted to see. I love to like test new things to see like, is it really good? Is it worth it? Can I do it myself? You know, how can I make it at home? But supposedly these are like grab and go and all these things that, you know, all these lies that they tell you on these boxes. So anyways, I picked it up so we can taste, test, compare. And then the original, of course, thick and fluffy that we have here um, for, you know, everyday, normal, whenever anybody wants one. Club crackers. I love that these are in like smaller packs because these are one of those things when you open it and you're like, what do I do with the rest? So I like the small packaging. There's 24 stacks in here. And also if you do open it and you can't finish it, mason jar, just put it in a mason jar or in a like, a, you know, food container. Just don't let anything go to waste. Beans because why not, right? It is um, a great pantry item, self-stable, will last a very long time. Great for you to add to your cabinet to have. These are these cook up in a one, two, three, and you know, put over some rice. And hey, even if you don't have a meat, rice and beans and a fried egg. Y'all, you know, you you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. This caramel dip because my son really enjoys caramel and apples. So I, with the red apples that I got over there for when we're at home, I'll cut those up. But then for on the go, I got these little individual packs and then I can just put some of this in a little to-go container and we will, you know, he can have a snack on the road. Anything to avoid eating out is what I aim for. Some grapes. Two pack um, of OxyClean stain remover. Some gain 
dryer sheets okay i never tried these but they were on sale and it came out to like about two dollars a tablet so i said okay now's my chance to give them a try we have really bad water down here in florida like hard water like your toilet stains it's just all the things so i'm hoping that with this i can help not having to you know get the toilet scrubbed so often like every other day but we'll see i i i'm really really hoping that that's gonna like really work and then i got these pack of pepperoni again in my sam's haul which was just a couple of days ago i picked up pepperoni from there also but it's like a different kind of pepperoni like the one from over there would be more for like making sandwiches and this one i like because it's cut thinner and smaller i like for when we make pizza and the last two items here are this pre-cooked bacon they were on sale so i picked up two because these are the bomb.com to have on hand when you just want like a slice or two of bacon and don't want your whole house smelling like denny's and you just put these in the microwave and in like 30 seconds you are eating crispy bacon so i highly recommend these and y'all listen all jokes aside do the math usually people say it's going to be more expensive but you get 36 slices in here okay 36 slices and then you see the price it's going to be on the screen and when i was comparing to buying a pack of bacon like a pack of raw bacon it's like ten dollars for a pack of you know raw bacon and then i like opened it and i was like dude there was like eight eight or eight to ten slices in there and it was like 10.99 or something like that and even on bogo at, like the way Publix does it okay so you pay ten dollars you got 20 slices and then you still got to cook it and your whole house smells like you know what I mean and here you have 36 slices for a lot less so just keep an open mind when you're at the grocery stores shopping you know looking around and of course I got two cases of water they're already put up so you don't see them here but two cases of water i always 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 add water to my shopping trips hurricanes florida we have a berkey like i said before at home we drink from our berkey and um i do not use bottled waters when we're home but they are either for emergencies power outages and guests so that's everything thank you guys for watching like share subscribe look at my baby keeping me company like always and i appreciate every single one of you i'll see you next time bye